Hello everybody, Waffle Dime here. So, you've defeated all three mechanical bosses. I gotta give you props for that. But unfortunately, the battle has just begun. As you killed your last mechanical boss, it is shown now that the jungle is growing restless. Plantera, the overgrown terrifying monster, has awoken. Equipped with hooks, seeds, thorn balls, and even tentacles, there is no way of beating her. Or is there? Here are five simple steps to make defeating Plantera as easy as pie. Let's get started. Step one is going to be to check your armor and your weapons. Make sure you have the best tier armor in your world, whether it's adamantite or titanium. Also, more importantly, make sure you're equipped with a very good ranged weapon. Personally, I recommend the old Mega Shark and Cursed or i bullets combo, but any other high tier ranged weapon will do. Having that said, however, since the fight's going to take place deep in the underground jungle, absolutely avoid using weapons such as the Daedalus Stormbow on account of the fact that your flurries of arrows will never reach Plantera, but instead just break on the surface. Make sure your weapon can shoot right the way forward, just right in a straight line is perfect. After you're well equipped, that moves us to step 2, and that's to get your Steampunker to move in. After you beat all three of the mechanical bosses, a new NPC, the Steampunker, will be able to move into your world. Make sure you add on a few more rooms to your house in order for the new hard mode NPCs to move in, especially one for the Steampunker, since she holds crucial components not only for beating Plantera, but for the game itself. After you expand your house and the Steampunker moves in, go right on up to her with a pretty good amount of gold and buy two teleporters for two gold and fifty silver each, so a total of five gold. After you've secured the two teleporters, go on up to your mechanic and buy a whole boatload of wire, a red wrench, and a wire cutter. Make sure to also grab two levers while you're at it. You'll need all these components for making your arena in the future. After you get your situation with the mechanic and the steampunker all squared away, that's going to lead us to step three, and that's to find Plantera's bulb. Plantera's bulb is located in the underground jungle, and just a quick note before we go traversing through there to find this thing, you'll notice I had no luck at all on my first search. These things can be very hard to find right off the bat, but the cool thing about them is that more of them spawn over time specifically after approximately half a day's time. So if you can't find Plantera's bulb immediately in your world after beating those mechanical bosses, just give it some time. Make some much needed repairs on your house, maybe do some grinding and get some more gold or platinum. Do some mining, even AFK if you want to. Personally, after waiting for a while, after my second go, I finally found a bulb. Now that we've found our bulb, that's going to lead us to step four, and that's to get to work on our arena. You're going to want to make a long arena. Not super long, but long enough to where you'll have four to six seconds of gunning Plantera before she gets too close to you on the other side. The trick behind this, as you may have assumed, is the teleporters. Once you're done carving out your arena, you'll want to make a small box, with enough room for you to stand in and be able to hit a lever that's on the floor in front of you. Make sure you have another small box of equal size over on the opposite side of your arena. They should be totally parallel to one another. Personally, I like putting a small lip in front of the box on account of the fact that it helps prevent the spike balls from flying in and causing further harm to you. You're going to want to send a wire from one teleporter to another and also connect up each teleporter with their corresponding levers. Make sure to give it a quick test too, just to make sure you can teleport back and forth between the two destinations. You'll want to make sure this thing's working before you summon the big boss Plantera. Also, Make sure to slap a bonfire around each point just for a quick buff. It actually is really helpful after a while. Our last and final and favorite step, step number five. Let's kill Plantera. Go ahead and drink up all your buff potions, break Plantera's bulb, and head over to one of your teleporters. Plantera comes in from off screen so she takes a little bit to head in your direction, but eventually she will show up. What we'll need to watch out for primarily is the grapples and her seeds. You will get hit occasionally, this doesn't make you invincible unfortunately, but it won't be anything too crazy. If you haven't guessed already, the strategy is to keep gunning until she gets very close and then quickly teleport, turn around and start shooting some more. As I said, you'll get the occasional seed or grapple hitting you every now and again, but it's not too drastic at all. Just be sure to watch your health and heal up if there's any problems. Now. After bringing her down to half health, she will break into her second form, becoming a lot more monstrous, physically and in regard to her power. She'll be much stronger and faster, so be sure to stay on top of teleporting on time. Teleport early if you feel nervous about it, and you should have no problem at all. Keep on teleporting back and forth and to and fro, and sure enough, bask in your glory because you have single-handedly defeated Plantera. Congratulations! And as easy as that was, that's going to be the end for today, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And if you have any comments, comments, concerns, tips, or suggestions for my next video, be sure to comment it down below. I try to respond to all you guys. Good luck in your battles, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again for watching.